Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about step by step process of research paper writing. So in this video we are going to explain how to write research paper with some example published paper. So here you can see that so these are the steps we need to follow for writing any research paper. So first one is you have to select the topic, research topic and then and step 2 you have to do literature review and then step 3 after completion of literature review you have to do research gap in that particular research topic and then you have to write the problem statement so after that for problem statement you have to write the solution for that okay how you are going to overcome that problem okay so after uh, writing that problem statement and then uh, how to overcome that problem then you go for methodology so technology what kind of technology you are going to use for overcome that problem and then after creating that uh, technology or method or proposed topology right so then you have to test that uh, the proposed topology by means of uh, uh, software or uh, hardware that means you are going to test that uh, proposed topology in the simulation and the experimentation real time experimentation so then after doing that simulation experimentation you have to elaborate the results right of simulation and the experimentation so that is the last part in that research paper writing okay so you have to follow this kind of steps in order to write the, the good research paper so for that here I am going to take uh, one research paper so the research paper nothing but here you can see that design and development of the realistic PV emulator adaptable to the maximum power point tracking algorithm and the battery charging controller okay so from this top uh, title of this paper right we can uh, see that the main aim is uh, uh, design and uh, development of PV emulator so PV emulator or PV simulator okay so here the research topic is a PV emulator okay so why that PV emulator is developed here for uh, test that uh, MBPT and the uh, battery charging controller right so for that um, in this paper they are going to present uh, they presented that uh, PV emulator concept so that in step one so as per this paper right the research topic is uh, PV emulator okay so here we need to do that uh, the, that when uh, why uh, what's the use of pv emulator so why we go for pv emulator so that kind of detail we need to provide in the introduction so in this is right here you can check this right so in the introduc introduction part of this paper right so you can uh, see that right so so why we go for a pv emulator right so what's the use of pv emulator so that detail we need to provide right so in this paper they explain about uh, why we, uh, they go for pv emulator means so for example we are going to test the uh, any mbpt algorithm for a high power rating uh, solar pv panel right so that is not possible so when you directly go to that plant right because the solar power generation so like you consider is in terms of megawatt right the size of the plant will be very high right so you cannot uh, you cannot uh, create that kind of uh, a setup for testing that uh, MPPT right so for that we need to create some emulator that emulator will be reflect that reflect the function of that uh, solar PV array so for that only uh, the PV emulator we are going so that kind of detail is provided in the introduction okay and that so and then they go for literature review right so here they go for uh, literature review okay so here you can see that they want for literature review right so here they write the literature review about that PV simulator right so that means second step is uh, literature review part right that means uh, review and related uh, research article on PV emulator right so in this here you can see that so they uh, do some several research 
literature research right and the pvm later with the different uh, already published paper right so here you can see that so they provided in tab table format that means they explain the uh, explain the each uh, uh, paper separately as well as they summarize the uh, detail, detail here right and then after summarization right so summarization here you can see that they provide the reference number or uh, other detail and then so what are the software they used to for uh, doing that uh, uh, pv emulator uh, hardware implementation so what kind of hardware they have used for implementing that uh, pv emulator and controller used in that uh, pv emulator and then what are the reference model they used for pv emulator so like that they are provided that means based upon that uh, literature review so they point out the uh, different parameter okay so based upon the parameter uh, they uh, found some uh, detail right so here you can see that uh, here they are provided us, uh, that means some characteristics of uh, any pva right so they are having three region right constant current region variable voltage and current region and constant voltage region right so based upon that also they are um, classify the uh, that uh, already published papers okay so from that they have found that some of the paper not uh, focusing on the all uh, regions so they have three region right so they have uh, three regions so constant current variable voltage in current and the constant voltage region right so here you, you can see that so they mention it uh, different uh, uh, already published paper they are operated in the different operating region so some of the paper have uh, two kind of oper operating region and some of the paper having only one region right so so from that they provide uh, uh, it having some this is the research gap that mean uh, the pv emulator uh, is does not operate in all region so they found that in this paper right so in this paper they tell uh, the, the tell, tell about that uh, so the pv emulator is not operate in the all region some paper operating in uh, only one region and some paper operating in two regions so they uh, consider uh, they found out some problem statement here that means the problem statement is uh, the pv emulator only operate in particular region only right so that will be going to be taken as the one uh, problem statement from that uh, LED existing uh, literature review and also they mentioned some factor that mean uh, here you can see that uh, normally the PV uh, array right operated in, in uh, two parameters so one is uh, irradiation temperature so normally we we have only two input for PV array irradiation temperature so here they taken another uh, detail also here you can see that so here they take another parameter nothing but the wind speed so they consider the wind speed also going to affect the the, the performance of that pv reference model right pv array okay so they consider this is also one kind of research gap so that means uh, the pv emulator already developed in uh, literature right they are not consider about that wind speed right so they now they are consider this research gap so it can be considered as a problem statement here right so in this paper they consider two kind of problem statement so one is operating region another one is they are consider about wind speed right so based upon that right so they create a problem and then for that problem they are going to find out the objective so that means uh, found out the some methodology so that methodology is given in the block diagram right so here they are frame the pv emulator so based upon the PV reference model with the three inputs, right? So one is irradiation, temperature, and the wind speed. So and then based upon that, uh, it will generate PV reference and going to be compared with the converter current, and then it going to be process wave voltage controller and then PV impulse, and then it going to be control this uh, buck converter. Okay. So this kind of method they are going to uh, follow for a. Uh, overcome that the problem of that uh, already uh, uh, the problem in the existing literature survey right so this is a methodology they are following so based upon that right based upon this methodology here you can see that so they created simulation model 
right and simulation model will going to be tested for a uh, different uh, operating mode right and then they take the results and then they explain about that uh, uh, operation of PVM related with the proposed methodology okay and then the same thing going, uh, going to be implemented by means of hardware also so hardware they make some hardware and that hardware also tested for a different operating points and then the result of uh, hardware is going to be compared with the simulation also so here you can see that result will be compared with simulation finally the the cost of the pvm led will be compared with the already existing uh, uh, developed the pvm later also right so like that they are doing that result and discussion so that uh, you, you can see that this paper having the detailed uh, result and discussion about uh, that PV emulator proposed uh, PV emulator, right? So, so when you to write this kind of uh, structure, right? That means uh, research topic, and then uh, why we go for that uh, particular research topic, and then you to explain about uh, literature review on that uh, particular research topic. And then you have to found some uh, research gap or problem statement. That problem statement you have to provide the solution for the problem statement. And then based upon the solution, you have to frame the methodology or technologies. And then finally you have to test the model with the simulation and the hardware. And then you have to provide the conclusion about that to your work. So then you will make the and the good research paper with this for following steps. So when you have to follow this kind of steps definitely you will uh, create the good research paper and and that research paper can be accepted in the uh, reputed uh, paper of science uh, journal or essay indexed journal so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe to the channel thank you thank you so much bye bye